Hi, Rich Spizzano here from Digitally Feelers. And today I'm going to show you how to create this piece by putting a face inside an accordion. In the process, we'll be dealing with color overlays, liquify, and a lot of masking. So I hope you like this and let's get started. What I first did was I went to stock photos and I picked face and I looked up a face and this woman came up. And then I also looked up accordion and I was trying to get a picture of an accordion, at least the full accordion. Most of them had halves. So uh, this picture was found also in stock. And the last thing I did was I chose and I just looked up music sheet in the stocks and that's the one I came up with. You can use any kind that you want. So I started with the accordion and I was going to first try and use the brush selection tool which I could try again. I was having some problems with it but let's see maybe I can do it this time. My biggest problem with the brush selection tool was right here. Um, so I didn't want to do that. So I thought I'd be more accurate. And I went with the pen tool. So if you haven't used a pen tool, you can see how I'm using it. So I'm just, I have the pen tool set on pen mode and I believe rubber band. So really I'm just doing this kind of thing I'm clicking and going through the whole thing like that. So it's click, click, click really fast. It doesn't have to be a perfect selection for this video, but you should be much more careful on how you select it. And this won't take that long. Just give me a second. Here's a, here's a curve, so I'm just going to go a little bit of a curve. I should be doing more of the curves, but I'm just trying to keep it quick so I don't bore you. <laughs> I'm probably boring you right now, but that's okay. This is a process that everyone has to go through when they are designing so and creating and let's see a little bit more curve on that one almost at the end here the rest should be pretty easy I'll do a little curve there another curve here I'll pull on the handle and that's how I'm getting the curve How I moved it is I pressed the space bar and I dragged and then when you let go of the space bar you continue with the same tool that you're on so that's how I did that. Let's do a curve right there close enough right and now I'm doing again I'm holding the space bar and going up. And I actually want the hand in. So I'm going to grab the hand later with a different tool. But, so I'll just cut this right now straight ahead. Mm, let's see, right about there. And because of the person's legs, I'm just going to fake it right around here. No, you know what? I won't. I'll just go right to where, where the actual accordion goes up. That's about right. Using my hand with the space bar again to move. And it looks like it goes something like that. And now definitely this piece is missing, so I can always um, fake that and add it on later. So let's just try to do something like that. Move up, and I'm going right across his hand. Move up.
and almost there. Let's see, that's good. And we're going to create a selection. Let's get back and see the whole thing. And now we're going to hit the letter Q and get close up of the hand and use a black and white. Um, if you hit D, uh, if you followed one of my tutorials and you click the letter D, it always goes back to black and white no matter what color is here. So now you take your paintbrush and if it's black, it's, it won't, won't select it. But if you, you hit the X and it's white, it will. So you want that whole hand coming out. So I'm going to get a close up here. Uh, let's see where we're at. Uh, let's go back to paintbrush. I'm using my bracket keys to make my brush smaller. And I am selecting his fingers. And I'm just painting and anything that is not red will be the selection. Red means it's not selected. So right here, I'm trying to get just the edges right here. And I am doing this quickly for this tutorial. Let's bring that back. There we go. And now I'm using the space bar again, and I'm dragging to the other side. And I'm letting go of the space bar, which gets me back to my tool here. Uh, make sure we're on white. And let's get his thumb in. So that anything we want to select should not be that red color. And we can adjust this later because we're just going to mask it. Okay, I think we're done. Close enough. There's a little bit white here, so I'm turning back to black and making my brush smaller. And putting some of that, painting that red back in. All right, close enough. We'll hit Q again, and that's showing you the selection. And now we are going to create a mask. And now we'll deselect. So that's our accordion, and that's where we're at at this point. And we can fix some of this later on. I just wanted to get a rough uh, mask of the accordion. So next comes the girl. So we want her, I'll put her above, and we want her face to be in where the accordion pieces are. So I feel like we have to shrink her a little bit more. So let's take her, I'll, I'll go out further, and maybe a little bit shrink, not so much, we just really want her face. So. Sorry, I don't know why this, oh, there we go. I don't know why it's not selecting, there we go. So I'm gonna shrink it just a touch more. I wanted a little bit more of her face in there. And I think that's pretty good. And let's bring her back up. And let's see where we're at. Let me lower this one more time. So if this mask, I'm not doing this right now, but if this mask was above, that's where she'd be in the accordion. So we only, so that's what we want it to look like. But I'm not going to leave it above right now. So I'm leaving, putting the mask back where it was. Okay, so I'm going to lower the opacity on her just a touch. And now I'm going to take her into... Uh, liquefy, but I want a real close-up, so let me get a close-up. I want a close-up of a little bit too much. I want a close-up of this accordion part. That's all I really care about, because we're not going to put her on the rest of the part of this. So um, let's go into liquefy. And, oops, I have to rasterize her layer. Okay, rasterize. And now I'll go into liquefy, and I'm going to take a small brush, not anything big, and I'm just going to drag, like drag into, try and follow these lines. 
I could have pieced her into little pieces. At first, I was going to do that and warp, but I thought this would be kind of more interesting. Actually, some of these might you might want to go up, and some of these you might want to go down, and up, and maybe down, and up. And I'm not, again, I'm doing this very quickly. You should try and go right where it needs to be. You see I'm doing up and down and only on the bellows I'm going there. Uh, if you think you missed some parts, you can hit different areas. Maybe you want that part to be higher or lower or the nose to go up. Um, right here by the eye, I think I'll go a little more up. This lip went down a little too much. And some of these, I'm just just jumping up and down. It's an illusion. That's all it is. It's an illusion that she is in the bellows. And that's all we care about. We don't want to touch anything outside the bellows. So we hit apply. And now we can see how it would look full screen. So there we go there. And so now we duplicate this mask control command J and put the mask on her also so that's where that looks like and I want her to be I want her just about like that or we can decide on a different I'm going to go down here see if any of these look better I'm just, I'm using my down arrows. Linear burn is kind of interesting. So I might use linear burn, but let me check a couple of more. Difference is not bad either, but I don't know. Oh, I just might lower it. Ooh, glow looks pretty good there too. Let's try up. I'm going up again and it's trial and error. I think I like linear light. I'm going to leave linear light. So let's do that. And now I am going to take away the rest of her. So what I'll do is I'll select her mask and with a black paintbrush, I'm just going to brush her out of this. All we care about is her being in the bellows of the accordion. Okay, we got that. I'm taking her out of that. Just like that. And we can also, if we want, that linear light might be a little harsh. We could lower it a little if we want to. No, I'm going to keep it actually. I'm okay with it. So, now right at this corner I really need a piece of the accordion, so let's just add, because that corner looks really bad. So let's go back to the accordion, which is that one. And can always stamp it. Uh, I could just take a piece from here or even here. I'm, I'm touching Alt, I'm clicking, and I'm touching Alt again, clicking, Alt again, clicking, and I don't know why. I have to find out why the mask didn't stay. And that's because I think I lost the mask. I don't know. But, okay, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to, I, I think when I moved that mask, I shouldn't have moved, I should have duplicated it. But we can get away with this because all I have to do is erase the parts I don't want right here, and that's fine. And that'll work for the corner. Okay, so it still doesn't look great. We know that. So next thing I did was I looked for a music sheet. Actually, before I do that, let me take this accordion again and erase some of this edging here with a soft brush. That's all I need. That's good enough. 
okay, so now I took the accordion again, and I'm sorry, and then I looked for a music sheet because I wanted a nice background. But I think I am going to group all of these first. And then I want to enlarge it a little bit. So let's to make it a little bit bigger. I think that works better. There we go. So now what I want to do is I don't like the colors, so I want to go to uh, Adjustment, Recolor, and I'm going to look for a kind of a tannish color. So I'm going into the oranges, and I'm bringing down the saturation, and I think I like it right there. That looks pretty good. So. Let's use that. And then the last thing I, I want to do is I want to layer Merge Visible. And that gives me one solid pixel layer. I can turn all of these off. So it's one solid pixel layer. And I want to feature the center, of course. So I'll go to Document, I'm sorry, Filters, Colors, and Vignette. And in Vignette, let's bring down the exposure, let's see where we're going to be, uh, scale it up, uh, shape a little bit like on a narrow side, and I'm trying to get a nice balance so it doesn't look overly done, but I want to make sure the feature is in the middle and the outside is a little bit darker, and I think I'm good with that. So there you have it. We turned someone into an accordion. Um, again, I did this very quickly. I just tried to give you some of the techniques. If I was really going to work on this, it would have taken me much longer, and I would have dealt with a lot more detail, but then the video would have been way too long. So I hope you get some information from this, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, please click like and subscribe, and have a good day.